Bonaire is a tropical paradise off the coast of Venezuela. It boasts one of the healthiest marine environments in the Caribbean. It is home to a multitude of underwater life, from pelagics to critters, from coral reef to schooling fish. And Bonaire is also a sanctuary for one of my favorite animals and the subject of today's video, the sea turtle. Hey guys, Matthew here. I hope you're doing great. For those of you who do not know me, I am an underwater photographer and ocean storyteller. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to join my underwater adventures around the world and learn what we can all do to help protect the ocean and restore it to the way it's been for millions and millions of years before humans have had a negative impact on it. In this video, we'll spend time with the sea turtles that call Bonaire home, explore their habitats, observe their behaviors, and learn about the threats that sea turtles around the world face. Turtles thrive in Bonaire, but believe it or not, the majority of sea turtle species globally face the prospect of extinction during our children's lifetimes. But don't lose hope. Later in this video, we will meet the people that are ensuring that doesn't happen. Bonaire is an island in the Southern Caribbean that's part of what's known as the ABC Islands. So that's Aruba, Bonaire, Curaçao. Those ABC Islands are actually part of the Kingdom of the Netherlands, which I proudly call home now. Bonaire is incredible. You can go diving pretty much everywhere around the coast of the island. 90% of the island's dive sites are marked with yellow rocks and is one of the most accessible shore diving islands in the world. When you go down to Bonaire, you rent one of these pickup trucks, throw some tanks in the back, and you basically can just drive along the coast, pick a yellow rock that looks good to you or one that was recommended and walk into the ocean. Please take one moment to subscribe to this channel and share this video with one friend so that one more person knows about this issue and small changes that he or she can make to help have an impact. Time to get in the water. We're gonna head up to 1000 Steps Dive Site in the northwest part of the main island of Bonaire. It's one of the most popular places on the island for diving and snorkeling. The reef is fully accessible with a range starting at just 10 to 20 feet. We know reefs are like cities and some specialist fish set up spots that are pretty much like a car wash. At these cleaning stations, larger animals, things like turtles, stingrays, and big fish will come to get cleaned. Here's a visit I had with some young green sea turtles and take a look at what they're doing. The cleaner fish will remove parasites, dead and damaged scales, and mucus. Many cleaner fish, they get the majority of their food from this practice, so it kind of works out for everybody. Unfortunately, not all sea turtles in the world are as lucky as those that we just saw at 1000 Steps dive site in Bonaire. It's hard for most of us to understand the full picture of what's happening under the surface. Sea turtles are facing threats from so many different directions. Thousands of them fall victim to bycatch every year. That's entanglement in the mile-long industrial fishing line that happens all over the world. Egg poaching and illegal trade of turtle meat, coastal development and encroachment on nesting grounds, turtle shell trade, marine debris like plastic, climate change, warming temperatures, warming seas, we'll talk more about that shortly. Probably most gut-wrenching to me is that something like 40,000 sea turtles are killed every year legally. The vast majority of those are green sea turtles, just like the ones we've been looking at today. And remember, green sea turtles, like the majority of the seven species of turtles in the world, are classified as endangered, and we're legally allowing them to be caught. Legal killing of sea turtles is a complex issue, and there are some coastal communities in the world that depend on them for turtle meat. There is hope, and we must always maintain hope because that's the only chance we have to handle all of the ocean and the environmental challenges that we humans face. Let's meet Sea Turtle Conservation Bonaire. The folks there are changing the tide. They're dedicating their time to research, education, advocacy, and protection. Sea Turtle Conservation Bonaire does their work in a number of different ways, including things like satellite tracking and detailed monitoring of turtle nests. In addition to protecting turtles on the island, Sea Turtle Conservation Bonaire's research has a much wider impact in the world. A significant risk to sea turtles' future has to do with climate change and the impact that temperature has on the male to female ratio. It's normal for turtle populations to be dominated by 80 or 90% female turtles because it's more efficient. Few male turtles can fertilize enough eggs to help procreate and keep the population large and healthy. However, a warmer egg in the nest increases the likelihood that the hatchling is female. So that sounds okay, unless the scales tip too far. At some point, whether it's 90% female, 95%, there won't be enough males to fertilize enough eggs to maintain the health of the community. 
The good news is that thanks to sea turtle conservation Bonaire and organizations like them around the world, we're learning more and we can see how to maintain an optimal ratio. So what can we all do to help? I for one think it's most effective and has the biggest impact for us all to take small steps. Huge changes can sound overwhelming, but we can all make small differences in our day-to-day -day life. First of all, let's all continue to raise awareness. Don't underestimate the importance of just talking about these issues with friends, bringing them up in your community, writing and messaging government officials. Let's also cut down on our plastic usage. Turtles and many other animals get caught in plastic, they ingest it. Let's just do a small step. We can get rid of the single-use plastic bottles and replace them with something like this that we, it's not that hard to carry around. I myself am often guilty of getting a single plastic bottle, but I'm mindful of it and I'm doing it less and less. Another really important one is just decreasing the amount of fish we consume. I don't expect the 7 billion people in the world to completely stop eating fish, but again, small steps. If everyone just decreased their fish intake a little bit, it would have a massive impact on the global demand for fish and it would impact industrial fishing's incentives and there would be less of these one mile long, 200 feet deep nets that catch thousands of turtles every year, not to mention sharks, dolphins, whales, and many other species. Let's also support the organizations like Sea Turtle Conservation Bonaire, like the Sea Turtle Conservancy, and the World Wildlife Fund, all of which are doing important work. We can donate directly to these organizations. I'll put the links in the description, but we can also donate our time. Let's give them a call, send them an email, and see what we can do to help them directly. I'd also appreciate it if you take two seconds, like the video and leave a two word comment, which will help get this video out to more people and more people can learn about this issue. So until next time, enjoy your day, don't sweat the small stuff and find gratitude in the little things. For now, I'm gonna make like this turtle and peace.